Hello everyone and welcome back to the garage. We're uh, here again with the E36 and we're continuing work today on the engine bay. As you guys may or may not remember, in the previous episode we cleaned the entire engine bay, but we didn't get around to cleaning the engine itself. And the valve cover and the inlet manifold are looking pretty sorry for themselves, so we're going to change that today and completely finish the look of the engine bay, making it look clean and um, a lot more sporty and racy. Um, because you guys voted for the valve cover to be painted in the BMW blue M color. We found a color that's pretty similar, so we're gonna take off the valve cover, paint it, put it back on with a new gasket, and then um, just make the engine bay look finished completely. So uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> now something else which we talked about in the previous episode is um, taking off the bonnet insulation and selling it to someone else. So that's what we're gonna start with. It's pretty easy, but it will make the car just look, yeah, a little bit more track ready, I guess, because a track car with uh, bonnet insulation. It's not really a track car. So uh, let's take that off and then get onto the engine. Well, that went uh, pretty easily and pretty smoothly. Uh, the insulation is out already. It's pretty fun, pretty easy. And the boot underneath is looking, it's looking very clean in terms of condition and rust. Like there's absolutely no rust. It's just a little bit dirty from the engine or from the heat. You can see some uh, buildup right here and on some of the other parts, but that will come off very, very easily. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that next and make this, uh, this hood look snow white again. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. This is so much better than before with the, uh, the insulation on there. It's a small difference, but it makes this car feel uh, a lot more like a track toy than, uh, than before. And we actually found that rim cleaner is pretty good for this kind of stuff. This uh, black roots or black uh, suits or whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, yeah, it works pretty good. It's looking rather beautiful, isn't it? I'm actually wearing a, a Nürburgring hoodie today and for those of you not familiar with the entire E36 track car like culture and thing, um, almost every single time when someone builds a track car out of an E36, it's called a ring tool or a track tool. That's like the standard name for an E36 track car. So uh, yeah, it's pretty funny that I'm wearing a Nürburgring hoodie and it's becoming a ring tool. We gave these a good clean as well, so uh, let's put these on and then uh, move on to the intake manifold. Well done. On to the intake manifold. We've cleaned the intake manifold as best as we could uh, with the tools that we have and um, there are some parts on the sides here where, we can re where it's really hard to get to that are still a little bit dirty. But overall, when you look at the engine, it's, uh, it's looking very clean. We're just now removing some parts to get to the, uh, the, the back bolts of the valve cover. We are removing the battery. We removed some parts here in the middle. And um, 
then we can take off the valve cover. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't exactly easy and we were a little bit clumsy, but um, we managed to uh, finally do it after taking off the entire coil pack uh, thingy, all this, all that stuff around there, the battery, and it finally worked. Everything's looking really clean in there. I also like the fact that everything is well oiled or the oil got through uh, everywhere, that's always a good sign. Um, but yeah, this engine, as I said, it has less than 100,000 kilometers, so uh, I guess it's still pretty fresh. This is for me the first time really seeing a 16 valve head like this without a valve cover in, in, in the flesh, of course. But yeah, I think it's uh, pretty interesting. Sooner or later there will be sharper cams in here, uh, but that will be a challenge for a different day. I think for today this is uh, more than enough, right? Of course. Of course. This clean. Yeah, just paint the valve cover and then uh, we're pretty much set for the next few years. And then uh, at some point we'll uh, get into the engine and make a complete motorsport build. Maybe get a second engine and build that into a motorsport engine. Why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> So we have a new uh, set of, of valve cover gaskets and grommets for, uh, for all the bolts. Uh, but we noticed that this one was actually in a pretty good nick. So um, you can see this is pretty, it, it came off very easily and it's also still quite flexible. Like there aren't any major cracks or anything. So this is basically, we could definitely reuse this, but since we bought a new one, we're gonna obviously use the new one. Uh, but when you see like videos of valve cover, gasket changes on YouTube, you usually see that this one is completely dried out and that it comes apart completely. But this one, like you can see, it, it came off very easily. And um, yeah, this is probably completely reusable. So Arne has been busy painting the uh, the valve cover in white primer. This is looking actually really, really good for just a dirty old garage. I was expecting this to be uh, a lot worse, but it's actually looking very, very fresh. Um, meanwhile, I have been uh, amusing myself a bit more with the wheel cleaner, just cleaning up the, uh, the strut towers a bit more. Uh, this is all kind of black stuff, which we couldn't get off uh, last week when we were cleaning the engine. And this is what the wheel cleaner can do. It's uh, actually pretty amazing. I'm uh, very stunned by uh, the result of this uh, this product. I think any wheel cleaner will probably do, but yeah, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good way to get off that annoying, stubborn black stuff. Well, the valve cover is ready for its, uh, its color layer. And uh, that's probably going to be the last thing that we do today. And then tomorrow morning, we'll put it back on the car and see the, uh, the finished engine bay finally. Okay. It is now the next day, we're back at the garage and we're able to continue our work because yesterday we went back to the store, we bought the rattle can earlier that morning 
and we were able to change that for a new one without extra cost so that was very nice they had the same issue with a few other rattle cans that were brought back in the past week uh, so luckily for us we were able to we were able to change it for no added expense so in terms of the valve cover we were actually able to clean it up very nicely we have a few spots that we can see here where the, where the paint was really leaking out of the uh, of the canister um, a big spot here and then the biggest one the biggest issue was over here but it actually feels very flat i was able to clean it up with uh, some sandpaper extremely nicely so i still think we'll have a very nice end result it seems that this rattle can is working perfectly so uh that's very good, we can make some progress today. So the valve cover is finished. Um, we are actually really happy with the result. Both the, uh, the finish and the color is absolutely great. Uh, one of the things they often do with these valve covers is um, sanding down these um, lines right here. So we're gonna do that as well. We'll give a little bit of a nicer finish. So uh, yeah, let's see what the result will be. Okay, this looks uh, pretty amazing. Yep, this really finishes off the, uh, the look of the valve cover completely. So this is the end result, the thing that we worked almost two days on. Uh, it feels pretty stupid to work two days on a valve cover, but we want to do this right. And uh, I do think that this is this has come out pretty perfectly. This will uh, transform the engine bay totally and entirely, and I'm really happy that it came out this well. So uh, the only thing left now is to put it on the car, and then we can see the true end result of the entire engine bay detailing and cleaning session. Oh my god, this looks so freaking good. This is amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so good. Okay, we're gonna finish this up and then uh, hopefully in like an hour or something, everything will be finished and the car runs again. So all the bolts are on. Now we can move on to uh, putting the coil packs back on, um, putting in the battery 
Um, this is kind of the, the coil itself that is mounted on here, so we can put that back. And then the most difficult part will be to uh, remount this entire piece, which is... Um, I think this is going to be a difficult one without nicking the, uh, the valve cover again, but we'll see. We're going to have to try and hope for the best. We were able to do the uh, what we thought was going to be the hardest part, fitting uh, fitting on this entire like interior or no body panel piece, uh, which protects, I guess, the uh, the AC components. And the last thing now is fitting on a grill, which uh, which uh, Arne is going to do. And then all of this is pretty much finished. The only thing left at that point is to hook up the battery, um, find a good place for the spark plug wires, the coil pack wires, to make sure that they are not directly above the uh, engine, the exhaust manifold. And um, then the car is pretty much set and ready to go back on the road <laughs> while Arnon is <laughs> fiddling away with this piece. And there you go. To you, the honors of trying the car, seeing if it starts. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will, yeah. No lights that pop up. No lights? That's good. Good start. This is finally the end of the uh, engine bay detail session saga with the, uh, the bonnet installation off and the intake manifold fully clean and obviously the valve cover painted. The engine bay is as finished as it's, as it's, as it's, bleh, as finished as it's going to be at this point in time. Um, we still need to do a lot in the future with ITBs and stuff, but for now this is looking absolutely fantastic. This came, this came out, I think, even better than we anticipated. We're also no, not going to put back the, uh, the BMW piece, uh, the plastic piece right here. I think it looks a lot better without that plastic piece and just the, uh, the coil packs exposed. Um, but yeah, just look at the difference with this intake manifold. I mean, it looked kind of like this, brownish, dirty. And um, yeah, this looks absolutely perfect. So um, yeah, feels good to uh, start modifying or working on the BMW at last. Um, took some time, we bought the car I think earlier this year. We only released the video a few weeks, the first video a few weeks or a few months ago, but I think we picked it up in like April or May, something like that. Uh, maybe June, not entirely sure. Um, but it's been here a while and we didn't have any time at all this summer to look at the car and start working on it, but it feels pretty good and pretty cool to uh, get going on it now. So uh, yeah, we are excited to continue work on this car um, and I hope you are as well. And we'll be back very soon with uh, more episodes for you guys. And hopefully we can get into the more modifying stuff very quickly as well. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.